to my channel. In this short clip, I'm going to explain how a mixer works. A mixer is a critical block in the receiver signal chain. Uh, it usually is placed uh, right after the LNA of a uh, receiver's uh, signal chain. Uh, why is a mixer important? Because uh, it steps down the uh, incoming signal from a relatively high RF frequency to an IF frequency. So here, as you can see, is a simple schematic of a mixer. So the RF stands for the incoming signal, uh, which is in the RF frequency. LO stands for local oscillator, and the IF stands for intermediate frequency. Let's take a look at the mathematical expression. So let's say the uh, input signal is cosine omega rf t. And the LO is cosine omega LO times t. And let's give the incoming signal an amplitude. So the when we multiply a times cosine omega rf t, multiply it with the uh, local oscillator omega lot we get one half of the amplitude cosine the summation of the rf plus omega lot plus one half a cosine the subtraction or the difference between the RF and the LO tone. Now let's take a look at the same phenomenon in the frequency domain. So in the frequency domain, we know that the uh, LO signal can be interpreted as two impulse signal plus omega LO minus omega LO. And uh, let's say our input frequency in the frequency domain, let's express it as a modulated frequency. Omega RF So time domain multiplication in the frequency domain would be the convolution. And uh, we use the sim that symbol to represent um, convolution. So when you convolve the LO signal with the RF signal, what you see in the spectrum is that here you have minus omega LO minus omega RF. And here you have uh, minus omega LO plus omega RF. And here you have omega RF minus omega RF plus omega LO. And here you have plus omega LO plus omega RF. So essentially you get four of these modulated signal in the frequency domain. Typically, uh, with the low-pass filter, we would uh, uh, filter out these uh, out-of-band terms. So this term and this term are both gone. Now it's interesting to see that uh, there are four terms showing up in the frequency spectrum, but there are only two here. And the reason of that is because um, if you recall from the trigonometry identity, um, cosine omega t equals to cosine negative omega t. So here the uh, omega rf plus omega lo, it really should be plus minus omega rf plus omega lo. And here this term, omega rf minus omega lo should really be plus minus omega rf minus omega lo. 
So here you get four terms, plus minus omega rf plus omega lo, plus minus omega rf minus omega lo, which agrees with the, what's happening in the frequency spectrum.